Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Antti, and today I'll be telling you, how, telling you how you can convert that A to an A star in science. In terms of an A and an A star, there isn't much in terms of marks. It may be the way you dropped marks is because you have misunderstood what the examiner wants from you. So today, we'll be talking about exam command words. And at the end of this presentation, I hope you'll be able to understand what the examiner means when, what the examiner means when he wants you to describe, explain, evaluate, and suggest. The first type of question we're going to talk about is describe. Describe is say what you see. If there is a graph, data from the graph has to be included. The first example I'm going to give is describe how carbohydrates enzymes are used to obtain glucose sugar. Carbohydrates, what it does, it converts starch into glucose. So therefore you may have starch which is in uh, waste products such as corn stock, which can be converted into glucose by using the enzyme amylase. The second example is the graph. This is describe the pattern shown by the graph. As you can see from the graph, the temp as the temperature of the oil increases, the time taken for the oil to slide down the tar by 10 centimetres decreases. So if I was to quote some data, I would say after 10, after 10 degrees Celsius, it takes 48 seconds. But after uh, 52 degrees Celsius, it takes 23 seconds. So therefore, I've quoted the graph and I've stated as the temperature increases, the time taken decreases. So therefore, this is something that you would have done in your ISIS. Okay. Explain. So explain is when you give reasons for. So now I'm going to have a look at another graph. So this graph is, says here, it gives you some information. Illegal drugs are classified as class A, class B or class C. Class C drugs are the most dangerous. In 2004, the government changed the classification of cannabis from class B to class C. However, in 2009, the government changed the classification of cannabis back from class C to class B. So, the question asks you, do you think that changing the classification of cannabis back to class B drug will reduce the percentage of 18 to 24 year olds who use cannabis and use evidence from the graph to explain your answer? Well, from this graph, the first thing you, you may see is that the general trend, the number, the percentage of 16 to 24 year olds taking cannabis has decreased. So therefore, the first answer I'm going to say is no. The reason for that is because if you look at the graph, it was, it was made a class B drug in, 2000, in 2008, even, sorry, in 2009. Even in 2009, you can see the general trend is starting to decrease. And even before that, in 2004, when it was a class B drug, the evidence suggests from the graph, if you can see right at the top, it suggests that drug use was actually high. So therefore, would, would the would class B drug, would it reduce the percentage of 16 to 23 year olds? I would say no, and I've quoted data from my graph. Okay. Now, another question, I may state, because it says give reasons for, it could be a three mark question where A causes B, which causes C. Explain the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. On a very simple level, aerobic respiration uses oxygen, whilst anaerobic respiration does not. Aerobic respiration will be glucose plus oxygen given carbon dioxide and water plus energy. Anaerobic respiration, on the other hand, does not use oxygen. It's glucose which is converted into lactic acid and a small portion of energy. Suggest. So what Suggest um, wants you to do is to use whatever information you've been given and to make an educated guess. You may have to justify your answer. So I'm going to give you an example. Some people keep indoor plants which have variegated leaves. Leaves are green and white regions. If plants with variegated leaves are kept in dim light conditions, the white areas of the leaves start to turn green. This is an advantage to the plant. Suggest so why? Well, first and foremost, the examiner is asking you to call in your knowledge of photosynthesis to answer this question and to give an educated guess as to why. You may say that, for example, because it turns the lead, the, the white areas turn to green, you may say there's more chlorophyll. So therefore, more chlorophyll means that there'll be a greater level of photosynthesis. That is me suggesting, using an educated guess, and calling on my natural photosynthesis to answer that question. That would be two marks. Last but not least, evaluate. Give positive things and negative things about a statement and finish with a conclusion. For those of you who were in my year 10 class, you would have done this quite often. One question that may come up, I think it will come up more in B1 rather than B2, is to evaluate the use of genetically modified crops. So you may say, for advantages, you get a higher yield. You use less pesticides, which would be good for the environment. You also say, in terms of the environment, it's going to be good because you're using less pesticides, less pests. 
However, you may say on the disadvantages, multinationals may exploit uh, poorer farmers. And in terms of the benefit to the consumers, myself and yourself, is there any? In terms of the taste, again, that is questionable. And in terms of price, genetically modified crops are generally more, generally more expensive. So therefore, in terms of now, I need to finish with a conclusion. The conclusion is your own personal opinion. What do you think? You may say, well, I think we should use genetically modified crops because in terms of what they do to the environment, they do not damage the environment as much as human-made activities such as burning fossil fuels. That is your personal opinion which you've put at the end of the answer in which you've given both advantages and disadvantages and now you finish with a conclusion. That will get you your six marks. So to summarise, is describe is to say what you see. If it's a graph then make sure the data is included. Explain is when you give reasons for. If it's a three mark question, it should be A causes B, which causes C. Suggest is to use whichever information you've been given to have an educated guest. And an evaluate, evaluative question is to give positive things and negative things about a statement, experiment, and to finish with a conclusion. Thank you for listening, and I'm hoping those A's can be converted into A stars. Thank you.